Okay. Well, hello, everybody. Thank you for joining us for our April 17th virtual chat. This is part of our Act at Home series that we're doing uh, every Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 3 p.m. We get online and have a 15 minute virtual chat about whatever the topic of the day is. And today our topic is art as activism and activism as art, all those sorts of realms. And I'm going to pass it over to Donna and, uh, Don sorry, Donovan <laughs> and Abby uh, to talk a little bit about that. Thanks for coming on guys. Yeah. Hey, hey all, uh, my name is Abby. I use she, her pronouns, excited to be with everyone today. I am based in Madison and excited to be part of this conversation. Um, and I'm Donovan, I use they, them pronouns. I'm in Milwaukee and I'll pass it back to Abby to start, I think. <laughs> We have some slides together, so give me just a moment while I move to presenter here. All right. How does that look, folks? Looks good. All right. So again, we are going to spend a few minutes today talking about art activism, uh, sharing a little bit about um, ourselves in this work and some messages we feel like are important when talking about our activism and collaborative art making. Uh, and then we are going to end with a collaborative activity as is appropriate when we are speaking of the importance of doing collective art making together. So here we go. Uh, so we kind of wanted to talk um, about art activism uh, as more than just the piece or the project that we often see that end result um visual the dance whatever art form is um being shared that there is more beyond that there's more to this collaborative process there's more um that we are working towards and um where that empowerment lies beyond just uh what has been made together Donovan, anything to add to that? Yeah, so here we have some pictures of just art that has been used in activism um, and in movements. Um, a picture of it in AIDS. It's a way for people to come together and um, have a memorial for people who had died from AIDS. Um, of course, the We Can Do It, uh, Rosie the Riveter image that's um, kind of been pretty popular since it was made slash made a comeback. Um, and then also a picture from the Unapologetically Brown series, um, which is just like a public street art series that centers queer people of color. Um, and all of these like are just like sort of illustrating the spectrum of artist activism as we see it. And then a couple, one more example, maybe a couple more examples. Uh, one of them is the um, the Tam's Year 10 um prison like shutdown project so um there is a tam there was in like the 2010s through 20 yeah 2010s <laughs> that feels really weird to say um the tam year 10 um like organization that was working on shutting down the tam supermax prison in southern illinois um and i pulled this uh image of the group in the bottom center they're mud stenciling this image all over chicago and this was in like 2013 um, and it really just helped to boost their message about shutting down this like high, like um, complete isolation supermax prison. Um, and they actually were successful. So that felt like an important example to pull of how art can be used in activism. Yeah, so in addition to these different uh, projects and pieces that have come together, um, and people are being, we're, we haven't even covered a tiny, tiny fraction of the kind of art um, and our activism that people have been doing, all people have been doing for like forever in time. So just to acknowledge that, that there are so many different forms of art and so many different um, messages and stories being told through art throughout time. Um, and we kind of wanted to pivot and say again that it's not just about what has been created and some things that have stayed with us through time because of um, because they are something that we can see or that we can hear or look back on, but that the process 
um, what people have done by coming together to make in the lower left hand corner is the Peace Wall in Belfast coming together. Um, at the top of the slide is an image from Sierra Club. I uh, hope I have the rights to use that in this PowerPoint um, of young people coming together to create. Um, and in any of these projects that are collaborative, that are, are telling collective stories, that the empowerment and the um, the work that's being done is again, not just the product, but this effort of people coming together to understand each other, to share, um, and to kind of reinforce that sense of we over I in these spaces. Donovan, do you want to elaborate? Otherwise I will. Uh, nope. more to that. <laughs> Good, all right. I'm going to stop screen sharing then. Make this a little less formal and see everyone's faces. And we'd like to invite everyone now to join us um, in a very quick exercise of collaborative art making inspired by um, quilts and quilt making that takes a lot of different pieces uh, and historically has been used to represent lots of different backgrounds and stories coming together, stitching together as, as one collective voice. So I'm going to drop a link in the chat and I believe this will be shared out as well if you're viewing this after um, our live session. Uh, but those on the call with us today can open this up. And I guess I will go back to screen sharing so that that's visible. Uh, after the fact or in this video here. <laughs> uh, so you'll see when you open up the link that we do have our virtual quilt for you all to add in um, your message, your word, your images, um, whatever inspires you to um, and creates joy, especially during this challenging time as we're all seeking uh, to uplift each other. We wanna stitch together something that we can share back out into the internets, into our communities, um, amongst our circles. So I will give us some time to be creative and go back to sharing my screen so that you all can watch what we come up with here. Oh my gosh, love the cat. <laughs> I'm about to add a photo of my cat in here too. I know I have some on my computer. <laughs> <laughs>
I truly love that this quilt is just cat pictures. <laughs> Thank you, the same thing. So many cats. <laughs> just had to get some dog lovers on here too to add their own photos. Oh, this is absolutely lovely. How did you come up with this idea? I think this is so ingenious and I kind of want to like do this with other people now too. Um, our organization has this activity called a COCO, a collaborative collage. Um, so I think drawing from that concept that is really just a Google doc where there is some sort of prompt, baby pictures, superpower, whatever it is, and whoever's participating fills that uh, live in some sort of setting. Um, so this kind of sprung out of that, of uh, working real time with folks on some sort of collaborative effort. Um, and then I think um, growing out of the AIDS quilt and some of the kind of uh, images that came to mind when we thought of big art activism moments. Um, and also quilts and a lot of cross stitching that I'm seeing out there and uh, cool creative efforts that are a lot of handiwork that I'm seeing in creative circles right now. So I think a conglomerate of all of those things. Uh, also, as a dog person, I want to say that I do still appreciate the amount of cats up in this quilt. I also like that like somehow they match the color scheme. So that's cool. <laughs> They really do. Um, yeah, I will be sure that this link gets included when we share this video out so that if people who, who watch this later want to contribute, they can or even just use this as inspiration to start their own collaborative quilts because I really do think this is so creative and cool and I've had fun working on this. Um, but do you guys have any last remarks? Otherwise, I will stop the recording and we can go to more Q&A. All right, then. Well, thank you everyone for taking the time to listen. Uh, and next Monday, I believe we're talking again at 3 p.m. every Monday, Wednesday, Friday for our virtual chats. I believe on Monday we're talking about our team Sierra and how we're how we're fundraising uh, with our friends and things like that. And then on Wednesday and Friday, just tune into our social media to find out what we're up to. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thanks all. Bye. <laughs>